Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Scopes a channel on a mission to make the United States the safest country in the world. Joining to take us through some pivotal news as this company has been expanding dramatically here, uh, William Santana Lee, the uh, CEO, joining us as always. Welcome back, sir. Hey, good to see you. Greetings from Silicon Valley again. And oh, we're uh, changing the world more than one robot at a time. You know, it's a, an incredible discussion to be had, and I just want to talk about some of the expansion here. First and foremost, uh, California airports have strengthened their emer uh, emergency communication with Nightscope. Do you want to talk about some of the integration? What are you guys doing with these airports? I think in a lot of cases, the airports are, are a little tricky. Um, one of the interesting things is the federal government really focuses on, uh, the TSA focuses internally at uh, the security and safety of the airport and making sure that no bad actors are getting you know, past the, you know, security checkpoint. But in a lot of cases, the municipality or a private entity or a county or something is actually responsible for all the stuff outside. Um, and I think that's one of the bridges that we want to uh, try to close that gap where we can have a lot more uh, thoughtful uh, deployment of technologies, both uh, inside the airport and outside the airport. Uh, and we're really excited to continue to add more and more capabilities uh, to uh, to uh, the airports around the country. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insights. And this is going to be a very diverse conversation because you're breaking into a lot of different industries. But the Nightscope K5 is Margaritaville's newest team member. So you want to kind of explain uh, how that integration is going? So yeah, we signed a master service agreement with a publicly traded company that uh, operates 43 different casinos. Uh, and we're really excited. I believe this one's a, our fifth uh, deployment. Uh, so we've gotten through the the first few, and uh, I think there's a good opportunity to show that the, the company can scale uh, with uh, one primary client that has uh, operations all across the uh, the country. Uh, and we're you know, really excited to continue to grow. Uh, I think the casino space is interesting in a lot of cases. Uh, I, I, I'm often asked, like, why are like hospitals and casinos kind of a key thing? My personal theory, part of it is, you know, it's run 24-7 uh, for a variety of reasons. There may be drama involved. Uh, and in casinos cases, there are alcohol and cash involved and a bunch of humans. So some sort of uh, drama is going to ensue. <laughs> and um, in a lot of cases, a lot of these casinos, uh, depending on where they're located, uh, actually are actually short-staffed as well because uh, they can't fill necessarily the security uh, positions. Uh, especially if they're running 24-7, or they're wanting to cover a lot more of the facility um, and not just kind of the indoor uh, part where, you know, they really focus on the on the gaming tables, but you also have a, a lot of people coming in and out. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely a fascinating conversation. I will just see it in the, in the wild. But uh, you're also kind of expanding into hospitals, churches. You've just uh, deployed and activated some of the K1 hemispheres. You want to discuss a little bit about that as well? So the Hemisphere is our newest uh, really low-cost uh, option. Uh, as I often say, uh, community leaders, CEOs, hospital administrators, if your people are the most important asset that you have, then why aren't you using the most advanced technology available uh, to better secure them? And the Hemispheres go out at a machine-as-a-service business model at, at as low as 75 cents an hour, uh, and that... Uh, can be very, very affordable for uh, hospitals, um, uh, bank ATM, you know, kind of locations, uh, churches, et cetera. And uh, we just, uh, this is a new product that we um, started shipping for last quarter uh, and things are continuing to, uh, to grow. And I'm, you know, really excited to have the team uh, continue to implement these across the country. Yeah, I definitely appreciate all the insights, and we'll pass that off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below, and consider subscribing for that news and catalyst as it comes down the wire. Of course, we're going to bring it to you here, but on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.